Seconds away, round one. As here we go for round one of a four, five minute round contest. Just four rounds, one fall to decide this. And another one following this, of course, another Scotland uh, member of the team, George Kidd, the one and only George Kidd, the lightweight champion of the world, taking on Jack Mulligan. But the first one is Lee Thomas of Scotland in the trunks. There he is, the golden boy, white, all white strip versus Tally Ho Peter Kay of Nelson Lancashire. 12 stone four, giving away to Thomas a few pounds here at 13-2. But it's a catchweight contest, but this is what they chose because they tossed a coin in the ring just now and the Englishman won and Peter Kay and Mulligan decided to take it on this way. He chose Lee Thomas and George Kidd is left for Mulligan. Brian Crabtree, the referee. But remember, this is an unusual, unusual length bout, grappling fans. A four, five minute round contest. One fall to decide it. And in the white, long riding pants, that's why Tully Ho, Peter Kay. That is Kay of Lancashire for England. And he's going to have a little bit of trouble giving away just about 12 pounds to Lee Thomas of Dundee. A big boy, this very good looking boy to the girls here in the Civic Hall. Really gave him a heck of a cheer when he came in the ring. This afternoon in this uh, special program we'll be having in this England Scotland program we'll be having two bouts of four or five minute rounds as I said and one tag contest the same man will take part in the tag contest as they're in the two individual wrestling bouts before it over the shoulders by K. 13 stone two with him. The finish didn't happen right, but the high hip throw came off. A cross but cross press but didn't work. Second chance. Third chance. No, hasn't got the weight. Gives up. A couple of minutes left in this first round of four. Some sort of leg grab as he went, Thomas. And Kay crawls to the bottom rope to get the break. Not popular here. All perfectly legal, as is a forearm. where he's going now. And he doesn't want to know, but he's, I think he'll probably go there. One minute Lee Thomas has got. No, he's not going there. He got out of it. Well, can't be a lot of trouble. Extra reach, half a minute to go. Reaching for the crutch hole, gets it, tries the stick, and gets it. It doesn't fall down. Two, three, four, five. Stood too close there, drop kick from ground position. Just eight seconds to go. Okay. 
There's this handsome heavy middleweight from Dundee, Scotland, the electrical uh, contractor from Dundee. You first saw him on television way back in 68. Three years amateur at the same club as George Kidd, his partner in tonight, in this afternoon's uh, uh, England v. Scotland match. The North End Club in Dundee. Turned full-time pro in 1967. Seconds away, round two. Of course, no score in this four or five minute round contest. England versus Scotland. Lee Thomas, Scotland in the white trunks versus Peter Kay of Lancashire in the riding bridges. One fall decides it. Brian Crabtree, the ref, and a pile driver by Kay. That could slow down Thomas quite a bit. moves from Peter Kay yet, just the clutch hold and another pile driver coming up. All the way down. Four, two, three, well, two of those Lee Thomas has taken. Five, he may have a weight advantage, but he's going to be troubled by them. And Peter Kay tries to follow it up with a, a folding press from the side, but it didn't work on his feet. In fact, most of his body came through underneath the bottom rope. So the first contest in this <laughs> maybe England versus Scotland, we may be in Wolverhampton, but they're all for the Scottish boy because I imagine he's such a good looking fellow. And Kay is inclined to bend the rules a little anyway. Now the power driver to Thomas this time. Different style one, but it came off. Over the top, and Lee Thomas holding on nicely, but can he get the shoulder blades down? Brian Crabtree, the ref, right down there, making sure, but no count yet. Right, he's down now! And it's Kay has turned the tables here. Lee Thomas in more trouble from the pinfall position. Ropes. <laughs> well, that's a great way to trip a man. Don't think I've seen that before, but it worked. I think mean, Kay's seen it before, either. Oh, no, mistimed it there, Thomas. Try to get Kay right over his back for a drop. Attacked a little bit early on the follow up. It's just a bruise on, a bruise on Lee Thomas's uh, right thigh there. Nothing you can probably notice. Well, that's a great way to tie a man up. A figure four leg lock from the back with bar. Unusual, but he allowed Peter Kay to get to the bottom rope again. That's well, perfectly okay. The crowd uh, looked as though they were going to try and complain to that, but it's perfectly normal legal forearm slams to the back. Less than a minute to go now in the second round of four. The first fall is the decider. Lee Thomas of Scotland. Blonde haired boy in the all white stripe.
Peter Kay, a chance for a Boston Crab here. Goes for the single leg Boston because he couldn't get the full one. Less than a half a minute he's got. Nicely brought down by Thomas. Beautiful. On the side headlock to finish. Don't think he's got much time to follow it up, but again, Peter Kay touches the bottom rope to get the break. Not worth starting a new move. Right on the bell now. Hey, hold it, man. Peter Kay from Nelson Lancashire, 12 stone four, giving away quite a bit of weight here, 12 pounds. Cocky Kay is often billed as. Tally Ho Kay, which is, of course is written right across his backside, as we'll see if we go down just a little bit. just at the back so when he turns around for us we'll see the tally ho there there it is tally ho Ken. he's known as all kinds of names but he's a pretty good wrestler just the same see what he can do this afternoon there are a load of kids at the bus stop and i'd slowed down but maybe he couldn't see him he just backed out i was badly injured and i had to stay in hospital if you had an accident, the National Accident Helpline could help you claim the compensation you deserve and you'll keep 100% of it because the costs are recovered from the other side. I've got £7,500 compensation and what's more, they've recited that bus stop. Find out free if you can make a no-win, no-fee claim. Call 0800 556 557 now. Dove Deodorant presents just the thing to wear this party season, beautiful underarms. Wear with bling tops, swing tops, sparkly tops and party frocks. Ball gowns, boob tubes, bodices and bustiers. Dove Deodorant makes underarms visibly soft and smooth in just seven days. Effective protection, beautiful result. Feel you in the wrong job? Getting nowhere? Could earn more? Computeach can help you train for a new career in IT that could totally change your life. It could lead to real job satisfaction, better pay, and better prospects. In fact, a better career is in reach with CompuTeach. But don't just take my word for it. CompuTeach helped me choose the area of IT that was right for me. I studied in my spare time, so I still had money coming in. My tutors at school didn't think I was clever enough for a job in IT. I could always call and email my tutors if I needed any help. CompuTeach even helped me to write a CV to really sell myself. Yeah, I'd like to meet those teachers now. I've turned my career around and got real long-term prospects. I've now got qualifications employers are looking for. If I can do it, you can do it. But don't just take their word for it. Find out for yourself a better careers in reach with CompuTeach. Call 0800 657 657, visit computeach.co.uk or text CHANNEL to 64118. Macho Libre is a fantastic DVD. Fantastic and based. Really good. Macho! Jack Black is Macho Libre on DVD from Monday. Not looking good, is it? I don't know. We got more going out than we got coming in. Stop. Don't panic. One simple call to Debt Buster Loans could sort out all your financial problems and cut your monthly bills in half. Yes, half. They could take all your debts, credit cards, loans, overdrafts, everything, and give you back a debt buster loan for up to £75,000. It's quick, easy, and you can do it all over the phone or online, whichever you prefer. They don't want your life history, what you do for a living, employed, self-employed, retired. They don't even mind if you have a poor credit rating. All they ask is that you can afford the repayments. It really is as simple as that. So to see how you can cut your monthly bills in half and keep more money in your pocket, ring Debt Buster Loans now on 0800 169 9505 or apply online. Debt Buster Loans. They can turn your life around. Round three, two rounds to go in this first match, England versus Scotland, Thomas versus Kay. Lee Thomas, the tall blonde boy from Dundee, coming out so he really brings business in this round. One four is the all he needs to get Scotland one up. Brian Crabtree has no, had no trouble, the referee yet. Single leg Boston attempt again by Kay, but it doesn't come off. 
again, Thomas pretty good with the counters. Peter Kay has been a professional wrestler a little longer than his opponent here this afternoon. His show jumping, of course. Two. Hence the riding oh, is there. Quite a show jumper. and at uh, Horse of the Year show. And at the moment, he's troubled more by the body scissors laid on by Thomas lying flat on his back there. The legs close harder the more he tries to counter. Again, Kay manages the crotch hold. Can he follow with the slam? Yes. But he still doesn't follow now. Three, three, Kay's been doing most of the attacking in this bout so far. So this really must start fairly soon. He's got the weight advantage. Good posting. And even better. Trying a third with the switch, but this time Kay waiting for it. A little bit late, goes in, and the knee comes up. To his jaw. Uh, you can hear the crowd there, what they thought of that. The crutch hold and slam from Thomas this time. He does follow it down. The reverse double knee hold, and Thomas got him, has got him in round three. And it just took him two minutes, 15 seconds into the third round. So the first win to Lee Thomas of Scotland. Martin Conroy, our MC, to announce it.